Today we are making pasta aglio e oilio. It is a pasta inspired by the movie The Chef, uh, starring John Favreau. Uh, it has garlic, pasta, um, lemons, red pepper flakes, olive oil, and parsley. So you'll need pasta, lemons, red pepper flakes, a lot of garlic, 24 cloves, um, parsley, and some olive oil. What you need to do is get a large to medium sized pot, um, fill it about three quarters full with hot water. So what you need to do is take it to your stove, put it on uh, high heat, and once that is going, um, take a little bit of salt, about that much, and put it in the water. For this next part, you will need 24 cloves of garlic. Um, for this part, you will be slicing the garlic as thin as you possibly can. Um, I'm only gonna cut one clove of garlic for this part because it's very tedious, And but uh, I will come back to you when it is all over. So what you wanna do is cut this piece off. This is not edible. Um, so you can just cut that off and put it to the side. But the way you would probably want to cut it is about that thin, if you possibly can. So I'm back, I finished cutting the garlic. Uh, if you wanna, here's a good example of how thin you should slice it. Uh, it's almost not exactly paper thin, but you could explain it as that way. Um, the music that is playing right now, this is Andrea Bocelli. He is an Italian singer. Uh, he is, he lost his, uh, sight at a very young age and he has begun to sing and become a very big sensation around the world. For the next step you're going to need two cups of olive oil, When you have your uh, pan on the stove, you'll want to put it on over medium heat. Well, this next part is also a very tedious job. It is uh, removing the parsley from the stem. Uh, you will need a good portion of this. Uh, right now, I am doubling the recipe, so I'll be using more than most of it. The olive oil has had plenty of time to preheat, and it's time to add the garlic. And now you need to stir it around. So, uh, the garlic has become a golden brownish color. Um, it only takes about a minute or two for this to happen, and this is what you're supposed to be looking for. Um, so the garlic is finally done. Uh, once it turns that perfect golden brown, take it off the uh, stove or put it somewhere on the stove where the burner is not going and just let it cool down and this is what the end result should look like. And now it is time to add the pasta. Your water should be boiling. And you want to slowly put the pasta in or the water, the scalding hot water will splash up and burn you. Now it is time to um, add uh, every component to the pasta. So put the garlic and the oil into the pasta.
uh, you put the uh, parsley in. Um, salt and pepper. And now add the lemon juice. So the last thing you want to do is add some red pepper flakes if you'd like. So just add how many you like. Um, and then what's, what you can do, which is also optional, you can add some uh, cheese. So Parmesan, uh, any cheese like Parmesan, Romano, cheeses like that. I got this recipe from bakespace.com. Uh, you can just look up the name of the recipe and it is, uh, it'll have it right here and then the directions as you slowly go and uh, it, is Chef the movie.